The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation, translated in red by Sam Gerrans. He said, Then what is your case, O emissaries? They said, We are sent to an evil-doing people, that we might send upon them stones of clay, marked in the sight of thy Lord, for the committers of excess. And we brought forth such of the believers as were therein, and found not therein but one household of the submitted. And we left therein a proof for those who fear a painful punishment. And in Musa, when we sent him to Firaun with a clear warrant, he turned away with his supporters and said, A sorcerer, or one possessed? And we seized him and his forces, and cast them into the sea, and he was blameworthy. And in Ad, when we sent upon them the barren wind, it left nothing it reached, save it made it as though rotted away. And in Thamud, when it was told them, Enjoy yourselves for a time, and they scorned the command of their Lord, and the thunderbolt took them while they were looking on, and they were unable to rise up, and they could not help themselves. And the people of Noch before, they were wantonly perfidious people. And the sky we built with might, and we are wealthy indeed. And the earth we spread out, how excellent are those who level and every sort of thing we created as two kinds that you might take heed. So flee to God, I am a clear warner to you from him, and make not with God another God, I am a clear warner to you from him. Thus came there no messenger to those before them, save, they said, a sorcerer or one possessed. Have they handed it down between themselves as an inheritance? The truth is, they are a people transgressing all bounds. So turn thou from them, thou art not censured. But remind thou, for the reminder profits the believers. And I created the jinn and men only that they might serve me. I desire no provision from them, and I desire not that they feed me. God, he is the provider, the Lord of firm might. And for those who do wrong is a portion like the portion of their companions, so let them not seek to hasten me, and woe to those who are indifferent to warning from their day which they are promised. Chapter 52 In the name of God the Almighty the Merciful By the mount, by a decree inscribed on parchment unrolled, by the house frequented, by the roof raised, by the sea filled, the punishment of thy Lord will befall, none can avert it. The day the sky will be utterly shaken, and the mountains utterly moved. Woe that day to the repudiators, those who in jest are playing, the day they are thrown into the fire of hell. This is the fire which you repudiated. Is this sorcery, or do you not see? Burn therein! Be you patient, or be you not patient, it is the same for you. You are but being rewarded for what you did. Those of prudent fear are in gardens and bliss, glad at what their Lord has given them, and their Lord protected them from the punishment of hell. Eat and drink with ease for what you did, reclining upon couches arranged, and we match them with pure, lustrous-eyed maidens. And those who heed warning, and whose progeny follow them in faith, 
we cause their progeny to join them, and we diminish not anything of their deeds. Every man is responsible for what he earns. And we provide them with such fruit and meat as they desire. They contend with one another therein for a cup wherein is neither vain speech nor falsity. And there move about among them youths of their own, as it were pearls closely guarded. And some of them will draw near to others, asking one another, saying, We were before concerning our families apprehensive, but God has been gracious to us and has preserved us from the punishment of the scorching heat. We did call to him before, he is the virtuous, the merciful. So remind thou, and by the grace of thy Lord, thou art neither a soothsayer, nor possessed. If, they say, a poet, we will wait for him for a time, say thou, so wait, I am with you among those waiting. If their reason commands them this, or if they be a people transgressing all bounds, or if they say he has invented it, the truth is, they do not believe, and let them produce a narrative the like thereof, if they be truthful. If they be created of nothing, or if they be the creators, or if they created the heavens and the earth, the truth is, they are not certain. If the treasuries of thy Lord be with them, or if they be the overseers, or if they have a stairway on which they can listen in, then let their listener come with a clear warrant. If he have daughters when you have sons, or if thou ask of them a reward, then are they encumbered by liability. If they have the unseen, then are they writing. Or if they intend a plan, then are those who are indifferent to warning those caught in a plan. If they have a God other than God, glory be unto God above that to which they ascribe a partnership. And if they were to see pieces of the sky falling, they would say, clouds heaped up. Then leave thou them until they meet their day in which they will be thunderstruck a day in which their planning will avail them nothing, and they will not be helped. And for those who do wrong is a punishment besides that, but most of them know not. And be thou patient for the judgment of thy Lord, for thou art before our eyes, and give thou glory with the praise of thy Lord when thou risest, and some of the night Glorify thou him, and at the retreat of the stars. Chapter 53 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By the star, when it sets, your companion has not strayed, and has not erred, and he does not speak from vain desire. It is only an instruction given. There taught him one mighty in power, possessed of strength. He took his place when he was in the highest horizon, then drew he nearer and descended. He was at two bows' length or nearer. Then he instructed his servant what he instructed. The heart lied not about what it saw. Will you then dispute with him about what he saw? And he saw him in another descent, by the lote tree of the finality. Near it is the garden of habitation, when there covered the lote tree that which covered. The vision did not deviate and did not transgress. He has seen, among the proofs of his Lord, the greatest. Have you considered Allah and Al-Uzzah? 
and Manert the third, the other? Have you the males and he the females? That then is an unjust division. They are only names you have named, you and your fathers, for which God sent down no warrant. They follow only assumption and what their souls desire, but there has come to them the guidance from their Lord. If man is to have what he desires, then to God belong the latter and the former. And how many an angel is in the heavens, their intercession avails nothing save after that God gives leave to whom he wills and is pleased. They who believe not in the hereafter name the angels with the names of females, but how could they have knowledge thereof? They follow only assumption, and assumption suffices not anything against the truth. Then turn thou away from him who turns away from our remembrance, and has desired not save the life of this world. That is their extent of knowledge. Thy Lord knows best him who strays from his way, and he knows best him who is rightly guided, and to God belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, that he might reward those who do evil with what they do, and reward those who do good with good those who abstain from the enormities of falsehood and sexual immoralities save slight mistakes. Thy Lord is of abounding mercy. He knew you best when he brought you into being from the earth and when you were hidden in the bellies of your mothers. Then hold not your souls to be pure. He knows best those of prudent fear. Hast thou then considered him who turned away, and gave a little, and was grudging? Has he knowledge of the unseen, so he sees? If he has not been informed of what is in the writings of Musa, and of Ibrahim who discharged obligations in full, ellipsis, then here it is to continue, that there bears not any bearer the burden of another and that man has not saved that for which he strives, and that his striving will be seen, then will he be rewarded by the fullest reward, and that to thy Lord is the finality, and that he makes laugh and makes weep, and that he gives death and gives life, and that he created the two mates, the male and the female, from a drop of fluid when it was emitted, and that upon him is the second creation, and that he makes free from need and enriches, and that he is the lord of Sirius, and that he destroyed the former Ad, and Thamud he left not, and the people of Noch before. They were further in wrongdoing and further in transgression. And the overthrown cities he destroyed and covered them with what he covered. Then which of the blessings of thy Lord dost thou dispute? This is a warner among the former warners. A drawing near is at hand. There is none to remove it besides God. Do you then marvel at this narrative and laugh and not weep while you are puffed up in heedlessness? But submit to God and serve. Chapter 54 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. The hour will draw nigh and the moon be rent asunder. But if they see a proof, they turn away and say, persistent sorcery, and they reject and follow their vain desires. But every matter is settled, and there has come to them among reports that wherein is deterrence, far-reaching wisdom, 
but the warnings avail not, so turn thou from them. The day the caller calls to a thing beyond experience, their eyes humbled, they will come forth from the graves like scattered locusts, hastening towards the caller. Those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue will say, This is a difficult day. The people of Nuh rejected before them. They rejected our servant and said, One possessed, and he was driven away. And he called to his Lord, I am defeated, so help thou. Then opened we the gates of the sky with pouring water, and caused the earth to gush forth in springs, and the waters met for a determined purpose, and we carried him upon that of boards and nails that sailed before our eyes as a reward for him who was rejected. And we have left it as a proof. So is there any who will remember? Then how were my punishment and my warnings? And we have made the Qur'an easy for remembrance, so is there any who will remember? Ad rejected. Then how were my punishment and my warnings? We sent upon them a violent wind in a day of enduring calamity, removing men like roots of uprooted date palms. Then how were my punishment and my warnings? And we have made the Qur'an easy for remembrance, so is there any who will remember? Thamud repudiated the warnings, and they said, Is it a lone mortal from among us we are to follow? Then should we be in error and insanity? Has the remembrance been given to him from among us? The truth is, he is an insolent teller of lies. They will come to know on the morrow who is the insolent teller of lies. We are sending the she-camel as a means of denial for them. So wait thou for them, and be thou patient. And inform thou them that the water is a division between them, each drink is in turn. Then they called their companion, and he took over and did brutally slaughter. Then how were my punishment and my warnings? We sent upon them one blast, and they became like the dry stalks of the fence-maker and we have made the Qur'an easy for remembrance, so is there any who will remember? The people of Lut repudiated the warnings. We sent upon them a hurricane. Save the house of Lut, we delivered them at dawn through grace from us. Thus do we reward him who is grateful. And he had warned them of our might, but they disputed the warnings. And they had sought to lure him away from his guests, so we blinded their eyes. Taste my punishment and my warnings. And an abiding punishment befell them in the early morning. Taste my punishment and my warnings. And we have made the Qur'an easy for remembrance, so is there any who will remember. And warnings came to the house of Firaun. They repudiated our proofs, every one, and we seized them with a seizing of one mighty omnipotent. Are your atheists better than those? If you have immunity in the written records, or if, they say, united we stand, the host will be defeated and turn and flee. The truth is, the hour is their appointment, and the hour is more calamitous and more bitter. The evildoers are in error and insanity. 
the day they are dragged into the fire upon their faces, taste the touch of burning. We created everything in measure, and our command is only one, in the twinkling of an eye, ellipsis, and it will come to pass to continue. And we have destroyed your like, so is there any who will remember. And everything they did is in the written records, and everything small and great is written down. Those of prudent fear will be among gardens and rivers, in a seat of truth before an omnipotent sovereign. Chapter 55 in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. The Almighty taught the Qur'an, created man, taught him the manifest fact. The sun and the moon are in calculation, and the star and the tree submit, and the sky he raised it, and he appointed the balance, that you transgress not in the balance and uphold the weight with equity, and cause not loss to the balance. And the earth he appointed for living creatures, wherein are fruit and the sheathed date palms, and the grain in the ear, and the fragrant herb. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? He created man of sounding clay like pottery, and he created the jinn, from a mixture of fire, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? The Lord of the two Easts and the Lord of the two Wests, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? He loosed the two seas. They meet, between them is a barrier they transgress not. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? There come forth from them pearl and small pearls. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? And his are the ships raised upon the sea like landmarks. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? Everyone who is upon the earth is to perish but the countenance of thy Lord will abide, full of majesty and honour. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? There asks of him, whoso is in the heavens and the earth, every day is he involved. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? We will attend to you, O you two encumbered ones. Then which of the blessings of your Lord would you repudiate? O congregation of jinn and men, if you can pass the boundaries of the heavens and the earth, then pass. You will not pass, save by a warrant. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate. Sent against you will be a flame of fire and smoke, and you will not escape. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? And when the sky is rent asunder and becomes rosy like oil, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? And that day, Neither man nor jinn will be asked about his transgression. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? The evildoers will be known by their mark and seized by the forelocks and the feet. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? This is hell which the evildoers repudiate. They will move between it and a fiercely scalding liquid. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? But for him who fears the station of his Lord are two gardens. Then 
which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? Of many wondrous hues, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? In them two springs flow, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? In them of every sort of fruit two kinds, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? Reclining upon carpets lined with brocade and the fruits of both gardens hanging low, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? In all maidens of modest gaze, whom neither man nor jinn have touched before them, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? As if rubies and small pearls, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? Is the reward of good conduct save good conduct? Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? And besides them two gardens, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? Two of the deepest green, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? In them two gushing springs, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? In them fruit and date palms and pomegranate. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? In all good and comely. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? Pure-eyed maidens guarded in pavilions. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? whom neither man nor jinn have touched before them, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? Reclining on green cushions and fine carpets, then which of the blessings of your Lord will you repudiate? Blessed be the name of thy Lord, the owner of majesty, and honour. Chapter 56 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. When the inevitable befalls, there is no denying that it will come to pass, abasing, exalting, when the earth is severely shaken and the mountains crumble away, then will they be scattered dust, and you will be three kinds. The companions of the right hand. What of the companions of the right hand? And the companions of the left hand. What of the companions of the left hand? And the vanguard. The vanguard. Those brought near in the gardens of bliss. A multitude of the former peoples and a few of the latter, on couches inlaid with precious stones, reclining upon them, facing one another. Youths made eternal move about among them, with bowls and pitchers, and a cup from a running spring, wherefrom they have no headache, nor are they intoxicated, and fruit of their choosing, and such flesh of fowl as they desire, and pure lustrous-eyed maidens, as it were pearls closely guarded, as reward for what they did. They hear therein neither vain speech nor falsity, only the saying, Peace, peace. And the companions of the right hand, what of the companions of the right hand? Among thornless lote trees and acacia piled up in layers, and shade extended, and water poured forth, and plenteous fruit, unfailing and unceasing, and carpets raised high. 
we have brought them into being anew and made them virgins, pure of speech, well matched for the companions of the right hand. A multitude of the former peoples and a multitude of the latter. And the companions of the left hand. What of the companions of the left hand? in scorching heat and scalding liquid, and a shadow of black smoke, neither cool nor noble. They were before that made opulent, and persisted in the tremendous perjury, and said, When we are dead and are become dust and bones, will we be raised up, or our forefathers? Say thou, the former peoples and the latter will be gathered together at the appointed time on a day appointed. Then you, O oh, you erring repudiators, you will eat of a tree of zakum and fill your bellies therewith and drink of a scalding liquid on top of that and drink as the thirst-racked camel drinks. This is their welcoming gift on the day of judgment we created you oh that you but gave credence have you considered that which you emit did you create it or are we the creator we have decreed death between you and we will not be outrun from changing your likenesses and creating you as what you know not and you have known the former creation, oh, that you but took heed. Have you considered that which you cultivate? Is it you who cause it to grow, or are we the cause of growth? If we willed, we could make it chaff. Then would you cease not to regret? We are debt-laden, nay, we are deprived. Have you considered the water which you drink? Is it you who sent it down from the rain clouds, or are we the senders? If we willed, we could make it bitter. Oh, that you were but grateful. Have you considered the fire which you light? Was it you who brought into being the tree thereof, or were we the creators? We made it a reminder and a comfort for those lost and hungry in the wilderness. So give thou glory with the name of thy Lord the Tremendous, for I swear by the orbits of the stars, and that is a tremendous oath if you but knew. It is a noble recitation in a decree closely guarded, None touches it save those purified. A successive revelation from the Lord of all mankind. Is it this narration you take lightly and make rejection thereof your livelihood? Oh, that when it reaches the throat, ellipsis, you did not look on to continue. But you will at that time look on. And we were nearer to it than you, but you saw not. Oh, that if you be without obligation, you but sent it back if you be truthful. Then, if he be of those brought near, gladness and sweet-smelling herbs and a garden of bliss. And if of the companions of the right hand, Peace is thine among the companions of the right hand. And if of the erring repudiators a welcoming gift of scalding liquid and burning in hell, this is the truth of certainty. So give thou glory with the name of thy Lord, the Tremendous. Chapter 57 in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. What is in the heavens and the earth gives glory to God, and he is the mighty, the wise. To him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and he gives life, and he gives death, and he is powerful over all things. 
He is the first and the last and the outer and the inner and he knows all things. He it is who created the heavens and the earth in six days. Then he took his place upon the throne. He knows what enters the earth and what comes forth therefrom, and what comes down from the sky and what ascends into it. And he is with you wheresoever you be, and God sees what you do. To him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and unto God are matters referred. He makes the night enter into the day, and makes the day enter into the night, and he knows what is in the breasts. Believe in God and his messenger, and spend of that whereof he has made you heirs, and those who heed warning and spend, theirs is a great reward. And why should you not believe in God when the messenger calls you to believe in your Lord and he has taken your agreement, if you be believers? He it is who sends down clear proofs to his servant that he might bring you forth from darkness into light. And God is to you kind, merciful. And why should you not spend in the path of God when to God belongs the inheritance of the heavens and the earth? Not equal among you are those who spent and fought before the victory. These are greater in degree than those who spent and fought afterwards, but unto each has God promised good, and God is aware of what you do. Who is it will lend to God a goodly loan? Then will he multiply it to him, and he has a noble reward. The day thou wilt see the believing men and the believing women, their light running under their authority and on their right hand. Glad news for you this day, gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein, that is the tremendous achievement. The day the wavering men and the wavering women will say to those who heed warning, look upon us that we might borrow of your light. It will be said, go back and seek light. Then will there be set up between them a wall having a gate, on the inside thereof mercy, and on the outside thereof before it punishment. They will cry to them, Were we not with you? They will say, Verily, but you subjected your souls to means of denial, and waited and doubted, and vain desires deceived you until the command of God came to pass, and the deceiver deceived you about God. So this day no ransom will be taken from you or from those who are indifferent to warning. Your habitation is the fire, it is your benefactor, and evil is the journey's end. Has not the time come for those who heed warning, that their hearts should grow humble at the remembrance of God, and what has come down of the truth, and they be not as those in possession of the law before? and the span seemed long to them, and their hearts hardened, and many of them were wantonly perfidious. Know that God gives life to the earth after its death. We have made plain the proof to you that you might use reason. The men who give in charity, and the women who give in charity, and lend to God a goodly loan, it is multiplied for them, and they have a noble reward. And those who believe in God and his messengers, these are the truthful. And the witnesses before their Lord, they have their reward and their light. And those who are indifferent to warning and repudiate our proofs, they are the companions of hell. Know that the life of this world is but play and diversion and adornment 
and mutual boasting among you and competition for increase in wealth and children. Like the example of a rain, it impresses the atheists with its growth, then it withers, and thou seest it turn to yellow, then it becomes chaff. And in the hereafter is severe punishment and forgiveness and good pleasure from God. And the life of this world is only the enjoyment of deception. Compete for forgiveness from your Lord and a garden the breadth whereof is as the breadth of the sky and the earth prepared for those who believe in God and his messengers. That is the bounty of God which he gives to whom he wills. And God is one possessing tremendous bounty. No misfortune befalls in the earth or in yourselves, save is in a decree before we bring it into being. That is easy for God. That you grieve not over what eludes you, nor exult at what comes to you. And God loves not every egoist and boaster. Those who are miserly and enjoin miserliness upon men. And whoso turns away, God, he is the free from need, the praiseworthy. And we sent our messengers with clear evidence and sent down with them the law and the balance that men uphold equity. And he sent down iron wherein is mighty power and benefits for men and that God might know him who helps him and his messengers in the unseen. God is strong, mighty. And we sent Nuh and Ibrahim and placed among their progeny prophethood and the law. And among them is he who is rightly guided, but many among them are wantonly perfidious. Then we sent our messengers, following hard upon them, and we sent Asa, son of Mariam, and we gave him the gospel and placed in the hearts of those who followed it compassion and mercy. But monasticism, they invented it. We ordained for them only the seeking of the pleasure of God. Then did they not attend to it with the attendants due it. And we gave those who heeded warning among them their reward. But many among them are wantonly perfidious. O oh, you who heed warning, be in prudent fear of God and believe in his messenger. He will give you a double share of his mercy and appoint for you a light wherein you will walk and he will forgive you. And God is forgiving, merciful. That the doctors of the law might know that they own nothing of the bounty of God and that bounty is in the hand of God. He gives it to whom he wills and God is one possessing tremendous bounty.